while I was down here uh, making the video for the 760D pictures I come across this I haven't seen this one down here before nice little uh, digger if we can focus on it probably won't <laughs> Ackerman it's one of those uh, I don't know how old it is but as most things on this in this place Pretty knackered. It's uh, got the pedals. Doesn't have any levers for tracking for some reason. Um, I've not come across one of these ones before, so it's got all the ordinary levers here. Got the stop thingy. That'd probably be the throttle. Hold the thought seat up there for some reason he's parked it like this so it's difficult to get up and onto <sighs> old little dashboard pretty old I would have thought this is pretty old temperature don't know what that one's for oil and the hours, 8,696. Whether that still works or not is a different story. Because most of the things are missing from here. Doesn't look like we got, we got wires hanging down all over the place. Um, you know, no window. It's just not there. Front window is gone completely. Front, that's probably how they got it. Bucket up there. It's got a nice little blade on the front of it. Lovely. Don't know what engine these had in. It's got some sort of leak down there. You can tell it's got a leak. Light on the back probably doesn't work. I've not seen this one about here before, so I don't know how long they've had it. The last one I saw here was an orange one. Let's uh, shut. I don't want to mess around too much. They might be a bit funny with me uh, messing around with their machines. So I'll just make a video how it is. It's a H3B. Ackerman H3B Nice man All the hydraulics and everything I don't even know what sort of tonnage this is Maybe 12 Something like that Nice light up there It's definitely been well greased is unusual. I don't usually find random old machines like this uh, very well greased, do you? Missing some teeth off of there for some reason. Obviously, they don't want the teeth on there, so they haven't replaced them. Rehandling bucket on there. There you go. If you're into your Ackermans, it's a nice little digger. Just needs a little bit of TLC, that's all it needs. TLC, man. I'll see if I can find some more machines to video, shall I? See what we can find. Just like the uh, car man scripts of Alexis. Too bad actually, I don't know why he wants, why he wants an Alexis like this. There's his little Mar. He liked that little Mar, I think, last time I seen Danny. He's got so many cars, man. 
It's like got there, look. Trainers and all kinds of stuff. Looks like he got his truck running in the end then. Formula drift, eh? Maybe this Lexus has been drifted in the past. It's definitely a bit smashed up on the back. Oh look, he's wedged it into the trailer then. That's probably why the back's a bit smashed, because he's wedged it into the trailer. I get the impression he's going to be taking this apart and uh, shipping it down. Minis. That's obviously his banger racer at the minute. I think he's. I think there's two people that do this, not just one guy. Lexus If I could buy this trailer off him, but he don't want to get rid of it apparently. It'd be a nice car trailer for me. But he don't want to get rid of it. Or that one. It's a shame. Could have been a nice car trailer. Don't know where he is, the old banger racing man. He's usually down here. Well. Oh well, there's a nice little look around the banger yard. Anyway. Sweet man. Hopefully the wind didn't mess it up too much. It's very windy over here. Hopefully it's sort of cancelling it out. I'm not sure what it's like. Oh well. So going back home now. Um, my dad's birthday is tomorrow, so we're going. Oh, we're going now. We're not going out. We're having a, a roast. Tiff's cooking a roast uh, as we speak. So, so I popped down here to make that 760D video, and um, I ended up doing the other videos at the same time. But hey, it's all good, man. So yeah, just gonna pop home now, and uh, I'll do some more videos when I can. Look at that man, that's the new port, what they they built, they just built new docks and port and everything. It's looking good though. They're gonna build a new shopping centre, big one like Lakeside which is near me. Um, new hospital and everything near here. So there'll be a hospital, there'll be a big shopping centre, there'll be flat, there'll be everything. It's like apparently they're building a whole new town down here, which is a big waste, man. Lano Rook own all of that land over there, apparently. I don't know whether that's true. I'll ask my dad because he'll know because he's a part of the farm and everything sort of thing, you know. Friends with them. Works down here every now and again. Well, I don't know what he does anymore. To be honest with you. But yeah, man. Apparently there's going to be a whole new town down here. Look at all them containers. I wonder what they got in them. I'd love to just go through all, man, all the stuff you might find. Millions of pounds worth of stuff. Maybe even drugs. Who knows what you got in there. Anyway. Let's go, shall we? I'm in the trusty Land Rover. I like this car. It's the nuts, man. It's doing a few, few miles now, though. See you later, banger racers. Got me trusty camera still. I like going down sort of off-road sort of lanes like this. That's obviously why I got myself a Land Rover. Not that this is anything testing for it. <laughs> this is like the piss easy stuff. Last time I came down here it was quite wet actually. Look at that trailer man. <coughs> Oh, 
Ooh. It's like a really low, low, low the trailer thingy. But it's got a hook on it, like for a tractor or something. Sweet. Alright then. Away we go. There's the, uh, that's where the old digger is over there. There it is, tucked away in the, behind them trailers. Lovely job.